Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make gill off of the submarine part components. So I do want to mention, if you guys want to get some of this stuff ahead of time before I make my videos, consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter of mine for a dollar a month. You also will get your name at the end of my videos as recognition for your donations as well. That's only if you guys want to support me and want to get this stuff early. So what do I mean by components? The materials that are required to make submarine parts. Since most people do not have a free company or free company house to make these submarine parts, the best thing that you guys can do is sell the materials that are in the crafter log instead. Now, just let you guys know that this might not work for everybody. So again, do your research, look at the market board to see what materials are selling better than others before you go ahead and sell them. And if it still doesn't work out for you, check out my channel for more guild videos to help you out. I'm pretty sure I have something out there that will help you. Now, majority of these recipes and materials are used in other recipes and gear, so most people might not be buying them for the submarines. Either or, it's money in your pocket. So I recommend getting book number one, two, three, and four from Master Recipes, since most of the materials come from these four books. One and two are from Rumor Born, and three and four from Heaven's War. These are from scripts, and these ones here, you most likely are going to be getting them through crafting a specific item high quality, while also passing in a field craft, the Materia 3, which are pretty easy to get from scripts or buy them off the market board. As for the gatherer logs, I recommend getting them from Dravania, because you're going to be needing Loom Mithrites, but trying to get Corthus and Nabathia Spine ones as well. Okay? So those are the books that I recommend getting before you start doing this. Now let's talk about the items that you're going to be selling. So here is where the money I've made from these materials are here. So almost a million gil. I did this about a month ago, and I stopped once I got enough research done. So we check this retainer here. As you can see, all this here is what I have sold back in the last month, up to the 25th is when I stopped selling them. So we have Rotonite, Spruce Lumbers, Dark Steel Nuggets, Dark Steel Ingots, Mithrite Ingots, and High Mithrite Ingots. My second retainer has sold Enchanted Hard Silver Ink, Void Glue, Dark Steel Nuggets, Mithrite Ingots, Wolf Frame Ingots, Ancient Lumber, and the like. So these are the materials that you most likely are going to be selling the most of everything else. Now the problem with this is that the Silver Ink is a little bit of a pain to make. Because you need Dull Mill Saliva, which is hard to drop in the Sea of Clouds. It's going to be in this general area here. So it's going to be right about this here. Like all around here, down the bottom section of the map, is where you'll find the Dalmel mobs. There's a bunch of them, and they kind of drop them pretty decently, but you might have to go through them a couple cycles in order to get them, or have your battle retainer get them for you. Right, this is going to be a level 56 item. So you can get the maximum 15 out of 40 minutes. And you need an item level of 119 from your retainer to get them. Any higher than that, it ultimately will cap out. Okay, so this is where you're going to get your Dalmel saliva. The other thing is going to be the Void Glue, which is one of the most annoying ones to get. is because the Void Glue requires Pudding Flesh, which you get these from your Grand Company. And the gelato flesh is going to be in the Corthran Western Highlands. There's about three areas that you can do to find these. You have one over by the Dust Vigil, which is the best place to get them. One over here by the Sleeping Dragon, or the Dreaming Dragon. And then over here by the Red Rim, right about here, is going to be where you're going to find the other batch. So those are the three areas that you're going to get those from. And again, you can get them from your Battle Retainer as well. This one is going to be around 56 to 60, I think. No, 51. All right, so you need I'm level 100 from your retainer 
every 40 minutes you're gonna get 15 per it's not great because you probably get more in 40 minutes by killing the mobs or buy them off the marker board if they're cheap all right so that is where you're gonna get your saliva and your gelato flesh for the boy glue and the hard silver ink now let's talk about the ancient lumber dark steel and the spruce so in order to make the ancient lumber you must have the petrified logs from your grand company and also the scarlet sap which can be gotten all the springs from 3 to 6 a.m with your botanist which is right here for the spruce logs it's going to be in quarters central highlands from 9 to 12 a.m and as for dark steel 1 to 4 a.m in central highlands as well here since these are in level 50 you don't really need any books to get those. Now let's talk about the high mithril ingredients and also rhodonite. So rhodonite can be gotten in Stormblood from 8 to 10 a.m. and p.m. in the peaks. So basically just south of Elagana. You're also going to be needing stripper stone to make these as well. And this can be found just directly south or west of the rhodonite. Now, as for the High Mithrite, you're going to be needing the Master Book or Folklore Book for the Dravanian area to go into the mists. The Loom Mithrite is going to be 2 to 4 a.m. and p.m. right here in the Green's Ward area, just south of Zenith. Now, Wolf Frame Ingots, you're going to need Master Book number 1 for your Blacksmith. Wolf Frame Ingots are made with Cobalt, Ferberite, which is something you can gather, and Sheelite, which comes from the Grand Company itself. The Ferberlite can be found in North Denelan, right here, at 3 to 6 a.m. So one thing I want to also touch upon is Dark Steel Ingots. You need 9 Cokes from the Grand Company to make 1 Dark Steel Ingot, or 2 Dark Steel Nuggets. Now the thing is with these, you actually can get these Dark Steel stuff from just desynthesizing gear, from the primals if you want to do it that way instead for free all right but if you're not you're gonna have to get the coke from your grand company seals you actually can get a lot for 90,000 so I would highly stock up on these as much as possible because you're gonna be needing a lot of dark steel so now let's go over some materials that I don't sell because they weren't profitable on my server the majority of these will be duplicates for most of the parts so we're not going to go to all of them but we have steel rivets, mithril plates, rose gold ingots, platinum ingots, a lot of varnish, so make sure you stock up on that. Same thing here, some wing glue, dark steel rivets, beach lumber, copper nickel nuggets, orangus nuggets, hollow chestnut lumber. You always will have to go through these ones here to get to the modified. So we have adamantite rivets, dark steel plates, hard silver nuggets. We got cobalt joint plates, titanium ingots, holy cedar lumber, and basically more of the same. Okay, so find which ones are profitable for your server and sell as many as you can. Alright, so now we're going to go over the rotation that I use to gather some of these rare materials. So to get the max out of these, I do Null Balls Tidings, or Nothicus Tidings, depending on if you're Botanist. And then I do King's Yield 2, and then I do Bountiful Yield 2, gather, and then do it again, and then gather again. And then after that, just gather the rest of the node to get as many as I possibly can. And that you're going to be doing for each and every single node that I mentioned earlier in the video. Now when it comes to the quantity that you should be selling them at, that's going to be determined by your sales history. For me, Rotonite, I sold at 5 at a time, Spruce Lumbers 2 at a time, Dark Steel Nuggets 2 at a time, Ingots 2 to 3 at a time, High Mithrite Ingots 3 to 4 at a time, the Ingots 5 at a time, because remember sometimes they're going to be using them for actual recipes outside of submarines. 
This one, the Void Glue three at a time, the Ink three at a time, and the Wolf Frame three to four or five at a time. Okay? So those are the amounts that I would recommend. But just go by what the sales history shows. But I always go by the lowest ones because not too many people might, might not want more than two or three if they're doing non-submarine part making. All right. So guys, that is pretty much going to be my list of things to sell to make gill from these submarine components. Again, if this doesn't work, check out my channel for more gill videos that might help. So guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord server, the link will be in the description down below. And if you want to support me monetarily, I do have YouTube memberships available and a link to my Patreon will be in the description down below, just for a dollar a month. So until next time, make sure you ever walk in the glorious light of our Bahamas. And always remember to keep forging my head. Happy selling and good luck.